Hi guys, as you know, I've been um, making all kinds of videos lately about the AA ISO that you can download on SourceForge, right? So if you download the ISO, you can actually install as the one of this morning, one hour ago. You can um, install XFCE. If you don't change anything, you just type four letters, A-L-I-S you have in two minutes, 53 seconds, XFCE and ArchNex. But there is more. Let's have a look at it together. There is more. So it's a pure Arch thing. There is a folder on there, there are scripts on there, and they're coming from Pico. And together we make the scripts better since beginning of January. 2022 and all I have to do, do is type Alice and I have a QWERTY keyboard right so I have to think about it always Alice all right that's it it runs it gets everything from the github with a yes it will override every, everything that's online make um, the, what is online goes on the, on the ISO in the live DVD and if I say yes it just goes on install Two minutes and 53 seconds it depends right two minutes to 30 seconds uh, depends on what on the speed on your speed on the download server right but now i'm gonna say no okay load the keys because i am on a certain then i navigate to the folder ls everything that is executable is green so the ls.config is where the parameters are. It's there where I say, use grub, use ext4, get me xfce, inkc extra, sublime text extra, melt extra, duff extra, stuff you like, you put it on your GitHub, you put it on your personal AA, because the project is there for you to have your own AA ISO. But you can use mine, fall in love, and then take the effort to make the jump. What I would like to do <coughs> is look at other things, right? There is Askinema, there's cloud in it, and never really looked at all the rest. But there is something called here Alice Recovery. So what if, and we can do that if you want to, but I mean, trust me, on this virtual box machine, I just installed XFCE x4 but so let's assume that the thing crashed right we all have these computers that sometimes are unbootable we've got a strange message and we start googling and it's gone it's really is too complex and then we say clean install what is this alice recovery sh right alice recovery sh that's the one but okay welcome to the archlex install script recovery do you want to continue sure this is my first time right is this oh, ah. wow <laughs> okay what what now uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh You must do an explicit reboot after finalize recovery. Exit if in arch root. Alice reboot sh. You must do an explicit reboot after finalizing. Okay. So basically, ls Okay, got it. I think. Right? I think. Where am I? I'm still on Alice. Okay. So, CD, one level up, LS. This is my environment, my virtual environment still. What it must have been doing, I hope, is mount my partitions. Where would you mount something? In CD MNT LS. Whoa, 
there is my complete system. So this is my SDA1 or SDA2 or SDA3, right? Whatever, yeah, divisions, partitions you've created. But I'm not in there. This is me looking at it, so it's mounted, but I'm not really in there. So I need to mount my system. Wow, where do I get the information how to mount my system? Well, Arclinix. On ArcLinksD.com, many phases come together. Phase one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where do I mount a system? Either of them will do, because mounting. <laughs> In the process to install ArchLex, you always have to mount. Where will you write it? Mount a file system. Oh, that's all. Mount a device into the folder mount. That's it. Okay, I can do that. So CD, get out of there. You don't want to be in mount. Where am I now? At root. No, get out. Present working directory, root. I want to mount. Damn, what? Partition. Tell me. Ah, I have a boot and have an MNT and SA2. Got it. So I'll mount my device. It's an actually, well, SDA is an actual hard disk, right? An SSD, so to speak, or an, an hard disk or an NVMe. In this case, it's virtual box, but yeah. So get me SDA2 first, that one, because boot goes into mount. So in the first, you need to mount mount. <laughs> well, mount SDA2 into mount. That's done already. True. And it'll say that. Is then SDA1 mounted? Inside, mount boot. That's also done. So the only thing I need to do now is arch shoot into mount. Right? And that's a little bit further. I'm going to look for the code on arch Arconix D here. Right, and it says a bit down the line. I should show you guys. Hopla. So I'm scrolling down, and I say, okay. At some point in time, you want to shoot into your system, and it says arch shoot mount. Okay, that's it. Let's see if the coloring changes. It's not red anymore, and I ask my present working directory. I mean root but eh, the colors changed so this is my system this really is my system i'm in my system if i say update this thing what well, well, you know what we can do is the following first of all i'm going to show you that user accessions no user share accessions ls i am on my system and xfc is installed Agreed? So something went wrong, you installed the driver. Get rid of the driver again. You installed LightDM, everything crashes. Get rid of LightDM again. What we'll do is say this XFCE, sudo. Well, actually, I think we are already sudo, right? So it's gonna be Pacman. Maybe first an S, an S and a Y to see everything works, okay? And then, yeah, I have to make decisions. Uh, Mate desktop. Mate. Now I believe there is another one, Mate extras, I believe. So where do you find the information? Arch, wiki, Mate. What was it again? We, by the way, we've also a cheat sheet. Sometimes it helps as well. Mate extra. That was it, right? There's no need to learn everything out of your head, but just go look, look it up. ArchWiki, and there's the rest. Do I want the rest? I don't know. 
I'm reading the first line. Caja share maybe, caja wallpaper. And grab a Not seeing anything yet. Power manager maybe. Screen saver. Right, you decide. For me, for my purpose of the tutorial, this is enough. If I boot up again, right, so exit, everything is red again. I'm out of the arch route and now reboot. You can unmount things that you want to do again. No need to learn everything out of your head, but just about your mind. How do you say that is to all the way scroll down and then go scroll back up. It's a minus R. Okay, minus R. Minus R. Right? M and T. And then we reboot. Pseudo reboot. Hopefully, right? If the tutorial is okay, then I'll have Mate. But it can be anything. Anything you installed more, and anything you installed less. So we are in control, and that's the fun in Arch Linux. You can always fix a computer system. Maybe I should end with that. You can always fix a computer system. Arch Linux, Arch, and then Shroot, or just Shroot maybe, but remember the word. Arco Linux, Arch Shroot. Use the power of Arch Shroot. There's so many videos already about it. Again, another one, right? Anything that's, that uh, provides you the command Arch root can fix your Arch Linux based system. So remember that if things, things I go wrong and you say, oh, I've, I've had so many, I put so many hours in it and it's so beautiful and I made a mistake and now I can't boot into it. Remember, there is the Arch root. Try it. After 30 minutes, it doesn't work. Okay, clean install, but try at first and see if if you get it right. If Arch root is something that you can understand, can use, and it works with the Arch Linux ISO, it works with the Arch Linux ISO, it works with the AA ISO, it will work with the Carly ISO, it will work with the ALCI ISO, anything Arch based that has the Arch root on it. You're good to go. All right. Have fun, guys.